Hi guys, I hope you are having a very great evening. Today we are going to be discussing a very interesting question, vertical traversal of a binary tree. And uh, quickly confirm that you can see my screen, you can hear me properly, you can see me properly. And what we are going to do today is going to help us do a very common question tomorrow, BFS of a graph. So we will be doing the same concept in graphs from tomorrow. So this is a super important question and we will also understand how to identify that okay we have to apply level order traversal of BFS over here because this is sort of a tricky question and you don't really understand in once that okay why do we have to use this okay so once we see the question i want you to think about it yourself that why are we applying this concept over here and that is very important and also this is a reminder that all the questions that we do i regularly put the links in the comments okay so you should check that out and like after going through the live or through the video i really want you to go practice also and not just you know keep doing without keep watching without really practicing i want all of you to practice as well okay so this is the question that we are doing today vertical traversal of a binary tree we are given a binary tree again as usual one or two children okay or zero children then what do we have to do we have to find the vertical traversal of the tree now what does vertical traversal of the tree means so it means that okay if we divide our tree into vertical lines we have to traverse through them in vertical manner okay so this is 4, in this line there is only 4, in this line there is only 2, in this line there is 1, 5 and 6. So this is one tricky point. If this is asked in interview, you are supposed to think about it that how you know this is happening that 1, 5 and 6 are in one line. Because see, here what we have to do is we have to see distance relative to the root and we will get into the details. But there should also be different edge cases that you should be thinking of. Like for example, if you were in an interview and I had told you that, okay, you have to do vertical order traversal. You also should think that, okay, if these are in one line, one, five, six, in which order should I print them? Like one, five, six, should they be in a particular order or not? So even while reading the problems, you should think of these, you know, what would be the questions that you would ask? Like here it is given to you, but suppose if this was not given, you should be asking this that if there are multiple nodes passing through a vertical line, then they should be printed as they appear in the level order traversal. Now this is important, right? Mansoor is saying that uh, he guesses that I have already covered a similar question. This is not a similar question, this is a variation and I want you to understand that how, you know, cues can be varied in the level order of the PFS that we do. So this is the uh, last question that we'll be doing which will be on the similar lines tomorrow we'll make it harder but i wanted you to be like completely sure that you are able to understand and here's there's a trick over here and i want you to notice this the small things that okay if there are multiple nodes passing through the same vertical line they have to be in the in the level order traversal okay so this is the main point over here actually this question we can do in multiple ways so let's understand what are the different ways in which we can do that and for that let's get to our ipad Okay, so what am I going to do is first discuss in the diagram that how this is going to happen. And I wanted to quickly confirm that you can see what I am drawing and you can still hear me see me properly. Okay, so suppose we are dealing with this particular binary tree. Okay, so what am I going to tell you over here is that uh, my mic has changed. No, I think you should be able to hear me and see me still properly. Okay, uh, I think it's fine, right? You're, you are able to hear see me, right? Okay. So this is the uh, distance from where we are going to be measuring. So this is where my root lies and I'm going to call it horizontal distance is zero. Okay, now when I move towards left and when I move towards right, I need to know that, okay, whether I'm moving towards left or right. So what do we do? We call these distances as one. So here the distances are one, here the distances are two, here the distances are three. Over here, distances are minus 1, distances are minus 2, distances are minus 3. This is like something that we are saying with ourselves. Basically, we are seeing the distance with respect to the root. Okay. So, this is an important concept. Why? See, over here, now there can be multiple roots which are in the say, same, uh, same vertical line. For example, over here, the distance was 0. So, we went to minus 1. Then we again went one distance towards right. So when you go towards right, you increase the distance by plus 1. When you go towards left, you reduce the distance by minus 1. Okay, so by 1 basically. So when I did minus 1, then I did a plus 1. So this distance is what? 0. 
then again I did a 1. So this distance is what? It is actually 1. So in the diagram it looks like it is over here but it is not like this. It is like this and then it is coming over here. So over here the distance is what? For this root it is like for this node it is like 1 minus 1. So it is coming over here. So for this node actually the distance is what? It is minus 1. So in the diagram it can be very tricky that we are seeing like this but it is actually like this. So here root is 0, then here minus, then here the distance is 1, then here the distance is again 0, here the distance is minus 1. So the root over here, the node over here that you see, the distance over here is minus 1. So that is why in the diagram it is not always clear. You have to increase the distance by 1, 1 and reduce it by 1, 1 to really understand it in which vertical line is for it. Now another question can be, uh, do we really need BFS or level order traversal over here? If we just do normal traversal, like how we do like you know in pre-order in order can't we make sure that we are putting the nodes in the level order of the survey so let's try that out and let's see that okay is it going to work or not okay so what am i saying till now firstly we have to go according to vertical lines now i know that i have to go through vertical lines i can store the distances in a place but do i really need to go level by level or not let's see that okay so what is the problem that we will face i want to talk about that now suppose i start from this root so I put a map that okay for distance 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, what are the nodes? Okay, so this much you should be able to understand. Now when we start from the node 0, what is happening uh, from the distance 0? I put this particular root, uh, this particular node over here. Okay, suppose this node is 1, I put it over here. Now when I come over here, my distance is what? Minus 1. So in the distance minus 1, I have put this node 1, this node 2. Okay, I have put this. Now I come over here. My distance is what? It is minus 2. I have put this node 3 over here. Now again I will go over here 4. Again minus 3 I will go to 4. Then when I come over here, the distance is again 2. Now what happens for the distance 2? After visiting this 2 node, I am visiting 5. You realize that I am actually visiting this node first and then after that like I am visiting this node first and then visiting the right nodes, right? So I have to go level by level. So you, you understand the problem over here that instead of going, uh, okay, let me say that again. I think it might not be clear right now. Let me just show that again. What I'm trying to say is that suppose I went like this. Okay, now what am I doing is, I am starting from here. This is my distance 0, minus 1, minus 2. Now I come over here. This distance is what? It is minus 1. So, because I am visiting the nodes over here first, I might visit this node before this node. Or, I might actually visit this node before this node. Like it can be in any manner, depending on in order, pre order, post order. But we don't want that. What are we? What do we want? The question it is given that it is should also be level or traversal. Now, what we have to do in this question is a combination. Should be a combination of horizontal distances and also level or traversal. So that is why this question is tricky today because we have to do a combination of two things. Basically, when we traverse through levels, we also have to take care of the horizontal distances. So that's what we are going to do. So this is why I have taken this question today because I wanted to understand that how level order traversal can be, you know, changed and it can look like, you know, travel, like vertical order traversal and it might not seem like it is a level order question at all. So suppose in the interview you were asked that, okay, you do vertical order traversal and you were not told at all that you have to do it in level order and you don't ask this question also. Then you might be like approaching the entire question in the wrong sense. So that is why I have also like, you know, discussed that you have to first ask these questions to understand and then really you know go forward uh, i hope this much was clear now what am i going to do is start looking at the question okay uh, let's start looking at the quote so guys i'm just quickly checking uh everything cool able to see me see the quote everything right all cool awesome okay so now what am i going to do is so here i need to return a vector of integers so basically I have to return this, that first 4, then 2, then 1, 5, 6, then 3, 8, then 7, then 9, like that, okay? So I have to return a vector of integers that, okay, let's just make it now answer. So this is the vector of integers that I'm going to return. 
okay now what am i going to do is i need to store according to each uh, what this horizontal distance that how much is the distance right so i'm going to make a map now i need you to tell me over here that i should be using a vertical uh, uh, an unordered map or an ordered map okay and i need you to think about it that which map should i be using the map thing that i'm putting over here am i putting it wrong or am i putting it right okay and let me just correct this as well and what should be a map of now before putting this i guys i need you to answer if you are watching okay so first thing i have to return a vector of integers so i put that why am i putting a map i am putting a map of distances now this integer will be the distance at each distance they can be multiple nodes right so at the distance say minus 1 they can be multiple nodes at the distance 0 they can be multiple nodes they can be 1 5 6 so what am i going to do is in a map corresponding to each distance i am going to store a vector again okay and i'm just going to put it now why am i using a map and not an unordered map because when i store the distances which is this i want it in sorted manner so here you can see that the distance minus 2 while the nodes are coming first then distance minus 1 then 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 right so i need them to be sorted individually now you need to know this if you are in interview that in maps the uh, values are automatically sorted because internally they are so they are stored in terms of a tree so they are automatically sorted that is why i use a map instead of unordered map so i know the values will be sorted according to the horizontal distance that i am storing over here okay now what now i also have to do uh, level order traversal so i need to store a queue in our queue still now we were storing just the nodes but now i will also need to store what i will need to store the horizontal distances so now to store that i am storing a pair of values so first for the node that we was usually storing till now now i'm going to store the horizontal distance as well okay if it is not clear it will be clearer but i need you to ask me the doubts if it is not clear okay so what have i done i created a map that was to store the horizontal values and i need to store them sorted according to the horizontal distance then there is a queue in the queue instead of just the node i am also storing the horizontal distances why am i storing that because i need that value to calculate the horizontal distance of children just like why we were not storing integers and why we were storing nodes similar reason you will understand that why do we need to store this at all so initially what do i do i need i push and i will push what i will push the root value and what is the initial horizontal distance it is zero right so it is zero so what do we do now i start going through this so i go like while queue is not empty what will i be doing i will start traversing so i pick up the first node i call it f but to quickly get the node since i am putting like a pair of things i go like the first element in the queue and the first element is a node and the second element is a distance so this is my node the front node basically and i'm also storing a distance this is what this is my horizontal distance so i am taking out both the elements okay and i let me also just pop it so that i don't forget to pop if i forget to pop what will happen i will lead to segmentation error segment fault because again i am not popping so uh, you know the queue will keep growing so we will never get out of the while loop so what do we do after this since we have this now i need to store the values in the map so what am i going to do in the map at what value so this is what this is the horizontal distance from where did i get it i got it from here so in this value i am going to do what i am going to push back so there is a vector at each distance there is a vector so in that particular vector what am i going to do i am going to push back what am i going to push back it is vector of integers so what am i going to push back i am going to push back if cut data now there can be multiple ways of doing this i am pushing at the start of the while loop i could be pushing after at the end of the while loop but this is just one way of writing but when you write the code i want you to experiment and understand that when or could you push the value so okay now what are we going to do we are going to do the level order traversal that if there is a left child what am i going to do i am going to push the values into the, into the queue but now while pushing the values into the queue i am going to make a pair so f ka left and my distance because i am dealing with the left child is going to reduce see this is why i was storing the distances also why am i storing the distances also because when i go towards left i know that the distance is minus 1 and when i go towards right the distance is plus 1 
Samir is saying uh, also try this question using recursion then this is more interesting exactly it is definitely but we are trying to understand BFS more properly so that is why we are discussing that method now but definitely you should be discussing different methods as well so here what am I doing I'm going I'm checking that if there is a right child what am I going to do I'm going to push the right child and what should the distance be now? It should be plus one. When I go towards right, I'm increasing distance by one. When I go towards left, I'm reducing distance. We have already popped, so I don't need to do that. I filled my map and I've also filled my uh, cube, right? So I'm done with this much. I have the values, but I have the values in what? I have it in map. Now I have to convert this map into areas. How am I going to do this? I am going to traverse the map. So how am I going to traverse it? I'm So for each value inside the map, sorry so for each value auto x inside map also guys you need to you know get used to using maps and vectors so you will be able to understand how we are traversing the map so in map there is a first value and there is a second value the first value is the distance we need to go through the second value which is a vector of integers now again it is a vector to get the each element now it is integer i could either use auto or integer i am just writing integer so it is a vector of integers right and in the x ka second basically x ka second is vector of integers now for each integer value inside that what am i doing i am storing the value inside my i have just called it x and y here you could call it map element let me just make it easier for you to understand so this is map ka element now for each map element what am i doing i am going through the integer x inside this vector and then I'm pushing it to the areas. Okay. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to return my areas from here. How many of you have not understood how I have traversed the map? I'm checking the comments over here. Shubham is saying, hello everyone. Hello. Mansoor is saying, what I meant was you have already covered vertical sum using recursion. Yes, I have done that. Uh, but this is using BFS. So we are trying to see that, you know, how we can approach the same question in different ways. But here, we are doing level order because it has to be done level order over here. Right? I made some mistake. Let me quickly check. Map of distance pushback. I've got it. Oh, sorry. I'm not. Okay. What is the mistake again? One second, guys. Can one of you quickly tell me if you have understood the mistake that I'm making? So it is saying in line number 114. So this is the distance. So Q ka front ka second is what I'm storing, right? So Q ka front ka second is what I'm storing. So this is the distance. Oh, sorry, I've saved distance in terms of note. It should be integer. Why are none of you telling me these mistakes when I'm doing it live? You're supposed to identify these mistakes, right? Why are none of you identifying the mistakes? Not good. I am submitting it. Okay, two of you told me the mistake. We have gone through all the all the test cases. Congratulations. Now let's let's look at the time and the space complexity. Guys, yesterday I think there was some problem in the space complexity. We'll discuss that again in another short video. But today let's do this. Here we are going through all the elements. So the time and the space complexity is order of n. Uh, the number of nodes is given to 3 into 10 power 4. So we should be able to store this much. So this works. Tomorrow, we will be doing BFS or level order reversal in a graph. Uh, we'll take an adjacency list to itself that we have seen. So if you're not uh, completely sure about the adjacency list question that we have done and the uh, and, and the BFS questions that we have done so far, the level order reversals, do practice them. The links are in the description, so you'll be able to practice properly. And I hope you are understanding very well. And I hope you will come tomorrow also for more days of regular videos and see. Thank you so much for showing up. Although there are so less number of people, but at least you guys are showing up. So I love to be consistent for you. So thank you.